uh, but we're going to kick it off with a tribute. As I assume everyone knows watching and here in the Bendix, this past week, Jamin Pugh, who we may know as Jay Briscoe, passed away tragically in a car accident. And when we all learned again the preciousness of life. Jay only worked with us here at Warrior Wrestling twice this year in February and October. And in each of those times, first thing that he did was talk to every member of our crew and production staff, ask us how our families were. He remembered who was pregnant, he remembered who had kids. He's a man who loved his family. For as crazy and as intimidating as his persona was, Jamin Pugh was the kindest, most honest-hearted man we ever met. So I'd ask everyone to please uh, stand for a moment and join us in a 10-bell salute for Jay Briscoe, and then we will all reach for the sky. I can't believe I'm 
seeing Christopher Daniel. This is awesome. Yeah, baby! The bucket was one I didn't know I needed. Warrior Wrestling, it's been a while. How you doing? Yeah! Eli Knight, yeah! I told you at the beginning of this match, I don't give my respect away. You gotta earn it. Well, by God, you just did exactly that. Yeah! Booker T better be bragging a whole hell of a lot about you, because you're damn well worth it. Come on, baby, stand up. Right here, everybody. Right here.
but don't push me. Your vent is like hey, yeah. from Indianapolis, Indiana. Representing Tiger Driver 9X, Big Starks Brand, and MTC LLC. Heavyweight Hustle, Calvin. Shut up and come on. come on. Shut up and come on. So is this false count anywhere now? Sharpshooter, can you get those big tree trunk of legs?
Yes, Queen! Oh, 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 good God!
officially started by the official.
like you pointed at me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. What a show. I mean, we got right into it, man. You saw there. Uh, kudos to Warrior Wrestling with the tribute to Jay Briscoe at the beginning. Yes. It's awesome. But that entire card was phenomenal. Probably our favorite Warrior Wrestling show we've been to. Yeah. I mean, it was really... We were talking about it as we walked to the car. 
um, with our good friend Simple Nicholas. Shout out to him and his beautiful family who we got to hang out with tonight. Yes. Had a blast watching but the show. With really you wasn't a bad match on the card. Mm -mm. No, it wasn't. There really was not. From opening to the ending, Brian Pillman, Beast Man was great. Christopher Daniels and Eli Knight. Watching those guys go at was awesome. Eli Knight's got a very bright future. Then Paler, getting to see her up close and personal. She gave Beast Man a run for her money, I think. Yeah. His money. Yeah. Oh, Takeshka. The Takeshka match. Yep. My gosh. Can't forget about that. My we're, God. We're huge. Takeshka's huge. We honestly forgot he was, like, we forgot. Yeah. The card was, this card was just so loaded. It was like, damn, man. That tag team match and stuff. Like, the whole Frank the Clown. And, and he's got some heat. It is what it is. I, I'm not a fan of the guy, but I respect what he's cheap, cheap, cheap heat. Yeah. yeah, but he does a good job at that. Uh, but man, the last three matches. Well, hell, uh, a War Horse and Calvin Tankman. Yeah. Come on, that match. Oh, War Horse. First time seeing him in person. What'd you think? It was awesome. I love War Horse. And then Tankman to the ref. Shut up and come on. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then, how about that woman's match? The the queen uh, versus Kylie Ray. Yes. Yeah. My gosh. Yeah. The queen, all hail the queen. I keep. I want to call her Amadala, but I know this. Right. Yeah. That's what, see, that's, yeah. that was my hesitation too. I was uh, hoping you would remember, but we've, we. I'm a huge fan of hers. Like now, seeing her, so she was awesome. Which we did see her before. But I, I don't know. To me, like, her presence just, it really stood out. Like, seeing those fans up in the stand, like, put some respect on that name. Yes, Queen. Yeah, Queen. There you go. World title match. Casey Navarro against Buddy Matthews. An awesome match, but I thought that finish was wonky as hell. The foot on the rope shit, like, I get that under normal circumstances, but he hooked both legs. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That was, was horseshit. Uh, it was something. Mm -hmm. It was something. But let's talk about the main event. The future. I have seen the future of Lucha Libre. You have seen the future of Lucha Libre. And his name is a Viking. I mean, it, it just may be the future of wrestling, yeah. period. My God, that guy. Holy shit balls! That, that guy was incredible. That stuff I've never seen before. Yeah, um, it really. We you say it all the time that you know it's all been done before in like wrestling. Not the stuff he was doing. I mean, the footage has got to speak for it. Yeah, the footage. The speaks parkour for like, spot. Holy shit! Yeah. So like, I'm sitting there thinking like, as he gets like. So I imagined him like getting to the venue today or yesterday or whenever he got there. And he's like, hmm. Yes. And he's like, hmm. I think I can do I'm that. I'm going to jump off that. And they were probably like, you're going to jump off what? Yeah, I'm going to jump off that. Yeah. It was a hell of a night, nonetheless. Yeah. It, I love the arena, too, by the way. It got some very, like, studio wrestling vibes. We had perfect seats, as you saw. Man, it just doesn't get much better than that. Man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. What a night. Love oh, me. Oh, what a night. Some warrior wrestling. This probably won't be the last time we come to a Warrior Wrestling show for oh, sure. Oh, this is just the beginning. I mean, this was our third one. Yeah, we're like, yeah. we We're drinking the Kool-Aid, Warrior. We're drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Let's go about wrap it up for this vlog. We hope you've enjoyed. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. But until next time, I'm XLJ, the OG. And I'm Mr. V-Roll, and my voice is shot. See ya!